happening, ladies? Well, I know that this weekend has just ended, but my mind is already on next weekend. Saturday and Sunday is one of my favorite festivals, the Taste of Buffalo. And here we're, we're here with Chris Hitchcock, who is a Taste of Buffalo chairman. Yes. Now, there are so many new things happening this year at Taste of Buffalo. Yes. Um, for our viewers out there that are a little unfamiliar with Taste of Buffalo, just give us a little rundown of what it actually is all about. Taste of Buffalo is this Saturday and Sunday from 11 o'clock to 9 o'clock at night on Saturday, 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Sunday, running from Chippewa down Delaware. We have 51 restaurants, and this year we have four food trucks for the first time. Now, food trucks seem to be like the current like trend Cra and raise craze, and craze, craze in Buffalo. Uh, what right. uh, are these food trucks stationary? Or are they driving around? No, we got them. Uh, we got them all together. Uh, they'll, they'll be actually serving out of their food trucks, and uh, they'll be down on Delaware. And what are the, what are the food trucks that are going to be here? Uh, Lloyd's Taco Truck, R and R Barbecue, Cheesy Chick, and Roaming Buffalo. All four are the best buffalo food trucks we we've actually had cheesy trick chick on the, the the show and it was one of my first chefs and it was excellent um now we also have i love local involvement with like the forces and we yes. have uh, a fire a firehouse cook -off. yes it's called the uh, smoking hot f uh, firehouse cook-off where we have two two of the chefs from local firehouses uh ladder two and truck six going to be cooking off on the uh, cooking off on the culinary stage like a Iron Chef competition on Saturday night at 5 o'clock. Now I feel like are they going to be grilling or barbecuing? Uh, they do making their uh, signature dishes, a, a uh, shrimp scampi and a, um, uh, uh, like a, um, I'm not sure what the second one was doing, but. <laughs> now I think a lot of people hear the taste of buffalo, they think it's for, you know, adults, older people, it's a little more sophisticated. But you're actually doing stuff to get the kids involved. Yes, we have a lot of kids' activities this year. We brought back the uh, Kids Zone. We're coining a Taste of Fun Kids Zone. It'll be in Niagara Square. It'll be a lot of uh, uh, community-wide art, art event um, a, and a, uh, obstacle courses for the kids to do. And um, there's a bit lot. So we bring back a lot of the kids' activities bring, so you can bring your kids down this year. Now, with the, the sort of new... Uh, healthy option. Are there a lot of uh, kid-friendly foods happening? Yes, I mean every restaurant does a, like desserts uh, and there will be a lot of healthy options. Uh, we team up with uh, Independent Health and uh, we have all our restaurants do a healthy option. Now along with food trucks, I think in Buffalo we're just starting to get into the Go Green craze and you're also working on that too. Yes, we teamed up with the city of Buffalo and, and they're going to bring down their uh, yellow and green uh, recycle totes so that everybody can recycle their water and uh, pop bottles. Now that only works if you make sure that when you go to the Taste of Buffalo you actually recycle. recycle right. So we're going to ask everybody out there that when they do go to throw those bottles right in the recycling bins. Yes. And uh, you actually have in your lap uh, oh, the yes. Taste of Buffalo hats. Yeah, uh, this, year, this, year, this year we're um, uh, promoting the Buffalo Fire Company. So uh, we're doing uh, New Era's made a limited edition Buffalo Fire hat, hat with the Taste of Buffalo logo on the back. And uh, the, the proceeds go to the Fireman's Guardian Foundation. Now, again, just remind us one more time, uh, the Taste of Buffalo, when it's happening. This Saturday and Sunday from uh, July 7th and 8th from Chippewa all the way down to Niagara Square. Awesome. And I know Great. I will be there. Great. All right. And now we're going to head over to our Kitchen World kitchen where Emily and Chef Chris are making something that I'm assuming is going to be absolutely delicious. Yeah, it looks like it. And uh, as you mentioned, we're here in the kitchen. I'm with Chef Ed Church of Eddie's Ryan's. Eddie Ryan's. Eddie Ryan's. Okay, great. And go ahead and tell me, you're actually going to be participating in the Taste of Buffalo. Yes, this will be our seventh year that we've been at the Taste of Buffalo. And uh, we bring three of our signature dishes and one healthy option each year. And uh, it's a week of preparation. Um, we're, we've already started preparing for the onslaught of people that will be there this weekend. And tell me a little bit about your restaurant. What kind of cuisine do you guys have? Um, we're an Irish American restaurant. We have a full banquet facility and a, a pub, a bar, and uh, our dining room seats about 130 people. And we're open for uh, lunch and dinner uh, Tuesday through sa Saturday, I'm sorry, Monday through Saturday, and then breakfast we serve on Sunday morning. Um, so we're open seven days a week. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and talk about what we've got in front of us. As for ingredients today, what are we going to be making? Um, our signature dish, which many people that have come to the restaurant uh, thoroughly enjoy, and then at the Taste of Buffalo, is our pot roast sandwich. So um, we're going to go through the makings of the pot roast. Uh, we've got the pot roast in the oven right now, but this will be the end result. Uh, sliced pot roast. Um, we grill it on some sourdough bread, 
and we put American cheese and green peppers and onions and leaf lettuce and serve it with french fries at the restaurant. Um, that will be our signature item at the Taste of Buffalo. All right, so we've got a uh, look at the ingredients, and we'll have more on the cooking coming up. But first, let's go to Emily Lenahan with your dot com check. And welcome back. We're with Eddie, the owner of Eddie Ryan's in Lancaster. Yes. You're making for us your staple item that you have at the Taste of Buffalo. You've been yes. there before. You know the craziness. It's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> week. Yes, we're making the pat roast sandwich, and uh, we just took the pat roast out of the oven. I've sliced it up a little bit. Okay. Um, you have to slowly roast your pat roast, make sure it's really tender and, and good. And what we do is we serve it on sourdough. And, and that, I think, is also the fabulous part of it, because anything on sourdough makes it much, much yummier, in my yep. opinion, I think, than just yep. regular bread. Yeah, we're just going to put a little butter in the pan here, put the sourdough on, and we serve ours with American cheese, although people will have to use it with different cheeses, with provolone or mozzarella or um, Swiss. Um, Melt the cheese almost just like a grilled cheese sandwich, just, like a just to, get, cheese sandwich. To, to get the uh, uh, flavor. Once that's uh, melted, we place the pot roast, which we'll be working on uh, in our next cooking in the segment. Next okay. Cooking segment um, on top of the sandwich, and we'll build the sandwich, and we'll have it ready for you. Okay, so while that's melting, Eddie, mm -hmm. let's just chat a little bit. What is it like in preparation? Because I've done stories for restaurants getting ready for restaurant week, and I don't yeah. think people realize the insanity. Um, the Taste of Buffalo, well, for fortunately, the of for, Buffalo. The, for, for the Taste of Buffalo, fortunately, we're in Lancaster, and we have a huge 4th of July celebration on the 3rd and 4th, so this week is just a chaotic week for us anyways. Okay. So we started preparing for the Taste of Buffalo, we started last Friday, just getting things ready, getting uh, things ready for our truck. We serve approximately 60 gallons of our uh, beer cheese soup. Um, Hundreds and hundreds of pounds of corned beef have to be cooked, sliced, the same with the pot roast right. sandwich. And then our staple item, or our healthy choice option, is a portobello mushroom wrap, which unfortunately we couldn't bring here today because it's not a product we keep in house. But uh, the slicing of the mushrooms, the, the wheat wraps in the sauces, and everything that goes together just to get it there. And we do then prepare everything on site. So we don't bring it from the restaurant. We, we cook you like it. You actually make it there. Okay, well, coming up, we're going to finish putting together our sandwich. Our cheese mm -hmm. will be melted. Eddie, welcome. Thanks. We're so glad you're here today, kicking off our Taste of Buffalo week. Coming up in the hot sauce, do you ever wonder what would happen if we didn't have the throughway worker, toll workers anymore? Luke Moretti will tell us about his special investigation for News 4. And of course, later, it's Monday. That means we're going to be talking with Dax from TMZ about everything that's at stake in Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes' divorce. We're, er, Emily, we're here with Eddie from Eddie Ryan's in Lancaster. You're making us your Taste of Buffalo dish. Yes, we are. Okay, so we melted our cheese we melted for our, our pot cheese roast sandwich, right? And uh, on the sourdough bread here. Okay. And I sliced up the pot roast. What I usually do is you can serve this. What's nice is about this sandwich is you can actually cook the pot roast and you can put it in your refrigerator or you can freeze it and you can bring it out and just saute it in the pan, just warm it up, which we've. Uh, which is what done we're here. kind of doing yeah, today, we're kind of right? Doing today. Um, just put a little butter in the pan, and we've warmed it up so it's it's nice and tender. Ooh, it looks nice and tender. So. And you cook this. This is takes long to cook. You want yeah, to it's, it. you want to slow, slow roast it. it. You know, in your oven, um, you want to make sure that the meat's very very tender. Um, so even better than doing that yourself, go to the Taste of Buffalo or absolutely. go to Eddie Ryan's and try it there and have yeah. them slow roast we it may, for we you. We make the, uh, it's a, a number of these sandwiches in the restaurant every day. So whoops. Okay, so we have our bread toasted. We bread have our toasted. cheese ready. We're just warming up our pot roast yeah. right now. Pot roast is warmed up, and um, I usually sear it just a little bit with a spatula or tongs just to make sure. Okay. Um, How many years have you done the Taste of Buffalo? I think this is our seventh year. Okay. Sixth year, seventh year. I, I don't remember. I know when we were first open, we tried to get in, but the, the waiting list was quite long, and, you know, there's some serious regulations that you have to follow, and, they don't really like to take the newest people off the street because they want a little bit of a reputation. So now that we have a reputation. <laughs> a good reputation. A good one, yes. A good reputation. Yeah. Now that you're in, you're there to stay. Yeah. That's great. So what we're going to do here is just take the uh, pot roast and we're just going to put it right on top of the, um, the cheese here. Okay. What else can you get at Eddie Ryan's? Somebody's watching saying this is delicious. What else? What other kind of food? Um, we're known for our shepherd's pie. Um, Buffalo fish fries. We have the Buffalo Fair, you know, wings and things like that. Okay. Um, we have uh, seafood. There's um, great salads, uh, chicken uh, dishes. What are your hours? Are you open? We um, are open seven days a week. Okay. Um, that the, was going to be my yep, question. Open kitchen, Sunday. Kitchen is open uh, on uh, Monday through Thursday from 
11 a.m. to 9. Um, and then there's bar food afterward. Okay. Um, and then we have our, um, we open on Fridays from 11 to 12, Saturdays 11 to 12, and then Sundays we serve breakfast from 8 until 12, and then dinner and lunch from 12 until 8. Oh, fabulous. We've already sauteed the onions and the peppers. Okay. Um, so, just so for So sourdough, time. and I have to say, sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. Melted cheese melted with cheese. butter. Pot roast. All these components I love in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you'll love this when it's all done I'm here. I'm sure I will. Um, some yeah. nice lettuce. Some nice leaf lettuce. Uh, more for looks and, and flavor, too. We serve the leaf lettuce at the, at the restaurant. We don't do that at the Taste of Buffalo just because of time constraints. But nice. Um, it gives it a nice crunch. Yes, it gives it a nice crunch. I'm going to get my fork and knife ready. Okay. I want to cut it so then it has a, you know, I like to get all the components of a sandwich together. So give it a nice little cut there. There we go. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, that looks great. Can you get a shot of that, John? Yeah. You want a little? A yeah, little, I'm gonna do a little. Gonna a little I'm gonna cut my own little. Okay. My own little bite here. Um, okay. So taste of buffalo. I can't believe that the taste of buffalo is coming up this weekend already. Yeah, it's it's fast, fast approaching. approaching. And what else are you doing for the? This kind of fell apart, so I'm just yeah. gonna do a little bite here, so I'm not shoving my face on television. But <laughs> I shove my face off of television, though. Don't worry, I'm a very hearty eater. Um, what, what is your 4th of July celebration like? Because you said you're busy for that, too. Yes. Um, well, we have the parade in Lancaster uh, at 2 p.m., mm -hmm. and the, thousands of people just come to Lancaster for the 4th of July, and then we have the fireworks at 10 o'clock at night. So it's always a busy day. Um, in the previous day, the 3rd and 4th are the celebrations in the village, so it's really, really nice. Eddie, I have to say, this is fabulous. The cheese um, with the meat, the peppers, the sourdough bread, crunch, crispy. It's great. Coming up, we're going to be in our second helping. Emily will be back in the kitchen. Uh, before that, though, I'll be doing weather in about two minutes. Stick with us. All right, we're back in the kitchen, and you're actually making another sandwich for us, right, Eddie? This is the Reuben that we serve uh, at the restaurant and at the Taste of Buffalo. Um, corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese. We have our own special sauce. Most people use the Thousand Island dressing. <clears throat> and uh, served on rye, and we've grilled it up already, so I'll let you take a bite of that. And I have to ask, I've been hearing a lot about a beer cheese soup. Is that your restaurant? <coughs> yes, it is. It is. Uh, we sell about 60 gallons of beer cheese soup, and it's uh, at the Taste of Buffalo. 60 gallons? Uh, 60 gallons. A week or at the Taste of Buffalo. Oh, Just at the, the Taste of Buffalo. At the oh Taste my of gosh. Buffalo. That's our Reuben. I don't know if you want to do that. Yeah, I'll give it a little try. That's amazing, too. Awesome. Thank you. So, what are you most excited about this year for Taste of Buffalo? The weather. <laughs> <laughs> the weather always has to be great. So, it, it looks like the weather forecast. Uh, Dan Paul is getting it right this time. And hopefully we'll have great weather and people will be able to come out with their families and uh, get to try everything at our restaurant and all the participating restaurants for the Taste of Buffalo. And it's a great event. There's such a variety. Mm hmm Just, yeah, and it's nice because you can just get little tastes of everything that uh, people can try in Buffalo. So it's a, a lot of different uh, venues and a lot of different uh, items that you can choose from. And any tips, I guess, for people who are making, you know, these kind of sandwiches at home? Um... Just make sure that when you're doing it, your, your meat is the most important thing, to slow roast. Because if you cook things fast, they are tougher. If you slow roast and do it over time, you're going to have a lot better, more flavorful sandwich. All right, great. Thanks, Eddie. And thanks, thanks. for being on the show today. It was great oh, to no have problem. you. Let's go ahead and send it